high fans of high quality entertainment. I'm just trying to fix my hair. It gets to that stage where it gets long and it just goes all over the place and goes crazy. I do this and then it's fine. Uh, I wanted to seriously thank all of those that commented last night in my community about, you know, me getting negative comments. Uh, thankfully, they're they're more positive than negative. But you know, like I, I say, every almost every day, I, I receive at least one or two personal attacks. And uh, so, but I was really overwhelmed last night with all of the nice messages and on Facebook. So I just wanted to thank you all, and it means a lot to me. I'm not going to cry. And before I get into what, what I bought on CD today, I just wanted to quickly mention, last night I was listening to this Greatest Hits CD by the Rolling Stones, and I think it might possibly be my favorite Greatest Hits compilation. And... Uh, that's all I'll say about that. I, I finally listened to about half of David Live, and I was really, really impressed with it. So I know I'm going to enjoy that. Finally, this, this album, which I've always loved, but last night, I don't know if it was the tomato soup I had, but this just blew my mind and... The first eight, I think it's the first eight, uh, yes, albums, I think, it's another uh, video I want to do, do soon, uh, the greatest run of great albums. And I think yes would be up there with their first eight albums, studio albums. This is as good as all the other early albums of yes. Absolutely love it now, and I will say, I, I finally heard this for the first time. Uh, of course, Lazarus, Lazarus, I, I know from Black Star, but the very first time I've heard No Plan, Killing a Little Time, and When I Met You, and they were all awesome on first listen. So very impressed with that. It was a lot uh, more harder edged than I thought it would be. These are the CDs I bought today. Tattoo You. Remastered. I had this. I might have even had this on CD at some point years ago. But of course I had it on vinyl when it came out and I, I loved it. I was still buying every uh, Rolling Stones album that came out back back then. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Nothing too exciting to see there. That's what people say when they come to my channel. And, well, really not much of a, kind of, kind of sucks. That's it. you think uh, there would be a bit more than that. That is bad. I want my money back. But anyway, it's more about the music, not the packaging as much. And, yeah, Start Me Up, you know, way overplayed, so, you know, even I'm tired of it, but it's still a great song. Hang Fire is awesome. Uh, the whole, whole album is really good. And my favorite, I think, is, my favorite actually is Side 2 with uh, Worried About You, Tops, Heaven, which is one of my favorite, and also the Talking Heads song, Heaven. Two songs named Heaven, which I absolutely love. No Use in Crying, and Waiting on a Friend. Uh, so I, I'm going to enjoy listening to that tonight. The other Rolling Stones album that I bought 
Let's see if the packaging sucks on this one too. I'm not bitter. I think it can come with a couple of posters and some stickers. Mick Jagger's phone number. Taking the security sticker off as if I would steal a CD. So it is there. And emotional rescue. Now I'm trying to remember which came first. I don't even remember. Emotional, but anyway, emotional rescue. I like tattoo, tattoo you more. But that being said, one of my all-time favorite Rolling Stone songs, not sung by Mick Jagger, is on this CD. The final song, "All About You," uh, with great vocals by uh, Keith Richards. Oh, this one seems to be have a bit more of a booklet thingy. That's what I like to call it. Booklet thingy. <laughs> Still kind of not that interesting. But it's all about the music. And the final two. By, by the way, uh, at Sun, Sunrise Records in Belleville, in case anybody local is a big fan of, the, or is a fan of The Doors and doesn't have their remastered albums from 2011, they had them all. They were all marked two for $10. And they all include bonus tracks and everything, and they're really nicely remastered. They're, they're, they're the ones I have. Just thought I'd mention that. I bought this. I've never owned a album by this artist until today. That's right. Van Morrison. Astral Weeks. Austral, Astral, I don't know. It says... First time remastered. Contains four previously unissued bonus tracks. Beside you, take one and slim, slow slider. So there's the back. I don't know if you can read that. Carefully open this. Now these, these little stickers here, labels, I always keep them. There, maybe you can read it now. Pause the video to read it. I'll put it in the shadow. And I've heard this uh, not the whole album, but from what I've heard, I've, I always play, you know, the beginning of it, first couple of songs, or first two, three songs, and I liked it. I really did like it, so I want to listen to this more, and it's considered such a great album, I thought, I should try this in my collection. It's got words in the booklet. I'm trying to remember the story of this particular album. I, 
I don't, I don't know if Van, like, it's like the, the musicians didn't know what they were playing. They just kind of played along with what Van Morrison was singing, was singing. I don't even know if he, if he had lyrics written down or it was just a stream of consciousness or whatever. I should have Googled it, or, but I'm sure somebody below will let me know about the recording of the song. But it was supposedly kind of a magical recording. And Van Morrison never even spoke to the musicians or anything during the recording. Or It was just a little different, I guess. But it's okay to be different. And finally, some of you are going to be so proud of me to finally have something of this band in my collection again. I've had them in the past, I've, and I've had their their vinyl albums back in the 70s, but finally, 40th Anniversary 2 CD Deluxe Edition. Hemorrhoids by Rush. No, it's called Hemispheres. I lost my, uh, oh, there it is, my nail file. Here we go. Oh, there's no security seal on this one. Disappointing. It is. And, and they had, you know, I could have chosen their earlier albums, like Fly, Fly By Night or the uh, debut album or Caress of Steel. But with uh, all the songs on this, it's like, yeah, I think I'll, st I'll start with this one. And who knows, in time, maybe I will collect all of the Rush albums because I've always really liked them. I think they're one of the most talented bands ever. CDs. Then it just now. Now this is a, a way better idea than uh, I've com I was complaining in a, a recent video. I know me complaining, where uh, you know any double CD thing, the the way it sets up, the way the CD works. You open up the case and usually end up breaking the case because. But this setup is so much easier. It's like easy, easy. It comes with a booklet. So you Rush fans out there, let me know what you think of this album overall compared to, to their other ones. Would you say this is their best one or their second best one, their third best one? What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? See, I don't think I, I will ever read all that. It's just, I don't think I'd have the patience. I don't know. But I would have the patient, patience to scan this booklet for everybody. Joke never dies. It's a very nice booklet, though. I probably will in time. Looks just like a recent Nickelback concert. And that's it. So, um, I'll be listening to this stuff tonight and at some point maybe I'll do some kind of review or something I don't know uh, so I just love your thoughts on what I purchased and uh, thanks for watching and have a marvelous day bye bunch of losers just a joke